Hey guys, what's up? My name is Marty Terrell. I'm the student pastor at Crosslink Community Church. Work with the middle schoolers and the high schoolers there, and I'm glad to have the opportunity to be with you just for a few minutes and share this chapel video today. Um, I know that right now we are dealing with times that are just uncertain and uncrazy, and there's just all kinds of things that are going on around us, and nobody's really sure exactly what's happening and when we're going to be able to get out of this whole thing. But one of the things that I found in times like this is that I can always take comfort in what I find to be in God's Word. I know that God's Word is true, and I know that everything He has to say in there is going to be able to encourage me, to lift me up, to help me stay moving in the right direction, going down the right track, whether times are easy or whether times are hard. I know that no matter what's going on, I can always cling to the truths that I find in Scripture. And so one of the things that I think is helpful for us to consider now is to consider this idea. Think about what you're thinking about. I feel like sometimes maybe our minds are filled with all kinds of crazy thoughts and ideas and we end up going off in a tangent here or there and just coming up with all these wild and crazy things that we're not even sure how we got to that point because we never really were careful about the things that were going into our mind in the first place. And this is what we see regarding our thoughts in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. What we find there in Philippians 4 verse 8, these are the words that Paul has to share with us. He says, finally brothers, whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And I feel like so many times the battle for success or victory or whatever it is that we are really wanting to accomplish, that battle is going to be won or lost between our ears. Ultimately, it's going to be a battle of the mind. And so I love how scripture points us in the right direction that says, if you're not sure what to think about, if you have no idea what you should be concentrating on, here's a checklist, some things that you should consider. And what's cool is that you can kind of narrow this down. I love trying to memorize things in different ways. So if you look at this list of qualities, true, noble, right, well, the first letters of all those words are T and R. So I think the narrow road, I know Jesus says, follow the narrow road. And then the last three are pure, lovely, admirable. And I think PLA, play. So if I can play on the narrow road, then I'm going to be in the place where God wants me to be. And so it's cool that we have this checklist here. This is what we find. To think about things that are true. You know what? I feel like sometimes people freak out and they start worrying and panicking and, well, what if this happens? Or what about that? And there's all kinds of uncertainties. Dude, nobody's got this whole thing figured out. So what if we instead tried to stop thinking about all these what ifs and focused on what really is true. Everything that God says in his word, that's going to be rock solid truth. So instead of going off on tangents here and there, I want to bring my mind back to what I know to be true in God's word. And to think about what are the things that are noble. When I consider what's noble, I think about somebody taking a stand for what's right. Like the valiant warrior who comes in and saves the princess and rescues and all this other kind of stuff to save the day. Those are the things that we see where somebody's going against um, the evil that's happening in the world around them and rising up to take a stand to do what's right. I know that you have the potential to do that, and I know with God's strength and power, he can help you to be constantly thinking about things that are noble and ways that you can rise up to make a difference in the world around us. Also, think about things that are right. I know sometimes maybe we tempt ourselves with thoughts of what if I did this wrong thing or what would happen if I did that wrong action or whatever. And I think what God would say to us is right away is, hold on, stop, don't even go down that track before you even start moving in that direction. Hold on, let's get out of our minds anything that we know is wrong and instead redirect our thoughts to what is right because that's what's really cool for us to constantly consider. And so I would encourage you to think about what is your favorite Bible verse? I think we can all take comfort in Scripture and we can kind of go back to that when we are frustrated or worried or anxious or whatever. But if we could think about what are the verses that really speak to us and why we like those verses, I think that's the kind of thing that'll really help us a lot. My friend Tyler Williamson, you guys will recognize him. He goes to your school, had a few words to say along those lines. Let's check out what he had to say there. Hey guys, Tyler here. I have been asked to share my favorite Bible verse and why it is so important to me. And that verse is Philippians 4.13. And it reads, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. This verse is very important to me and especially what's happening right now is it's very stressful. People are getting laid off jobs and a bunch of school and work and all those things. And an easy way to help with all of that is just asking guidance from God. A simple prayer, just asking for help with all those things can really go a long way. Another thing is doing everything for Him. If it's school, work, chores, 
doing it for him as he is our savior and anything that you should be doing for the rest of your life should be for him. So I love what Tyler had to say there. Philippians 4.13, that's exactly the kind of thing where if we're in tough times or easy times or whatever, it's always important for us to remember that we can do things that God has called us to do through the strength that he supplies. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It means that I can serve him and do the things that he has called me to do because I know that he has purposes, he has plans for me, and so I want to move in the direction that he's calling me to go, and he's going to give me everything I need to follow him in that way. And so as we consider um, what we find in Philippians 4, 8, 2, there's a few other ideas here. The last part of the verse says that we want to talk about things that are pure and lovely and admirable. And I know sometimes, honestly, purity can be a challenge. There's a lot of time that people are spending nowadays on Netflix or just on the computer or surfing the net or whatever the case might be there. And there's going to be opportunities to come across stuff that is really not the way God would want us to focus our hearts and our minds. And there's going to be temptations toward impurity, whether it's pornography or other things. And God would say to us, man, all that stuff is so not what I have for you. I have things that are so much better for you than that. So if we're going to focus our minds to focus on what is really pure, we're going to see God blesses us as we say no to those kind of things. And we instead redirect our attention to what he has for us. The Bible tells us to think about what is lovely. What are the things that are attractive to God? The things that are appealing, the things that are going to be a blessing, not only for us, but for others around us too. When our minds are filled with the things that are lovely, man, it's going to make such a difference in the world. We're going to be able to help other people, encourage other people. We're going to be so much better off ourselves. And we're going to be so much better off to be able to help other people also. And then finally, we see whatever is admirable. I mean, be thinking about those things that people can admire, that people can respect. You have the opportunity and the potential to be somebody who is really going to rise up and to do great things in the world. So as we focus our minds on those places that God wants us to, the verse says here, things that are excellent, praiseworthy. If we're thinking along those lines, that's what's really going to set us up to make a difference in the world, to make your family proud, your school proud, and to do all that God has called you to do. But we understand, really, all these different things that we've talked about, all these different ideas and thoughts. As we think about what we're really thinking about, we want to recognize the reality that, man, you know, none of this is possible without the Holy Spirit's work in our life. As we recognize what Jesus has already done for us, he died on the cross in our place, and he says that, you know, your sin, your, all that stuff that you've done, all that garbage that separated us from God, man, it can all be taken care of and done away with. And that's such an encouraging thought to realize that, you know, when I commit myself to following Christ as my Lord and my Savior, I have a supernatural strength dwelling inside me so that I'm able to then follow what I see in God's Word. I don't really have to worry about trying to make it on my own. I'm not going to be able to anyway. I'm not in control. I don't have to figure it all out. I can turn all those things over to God and trust in Him to take me in the way that He wants me to go and to supply me with His strength and power all along the way. So that's my encouragement for you guys to consider. I appreciate Tyler helping me out with the video here. And so, man, there's so many good things that God has in store for us. And as we follow what he lays out for us in his word, whether it's tough times like the Rona, like we're dealing with right now, or whether it's smooth sailing, easy times that we might find at some point in the future, whatever we're doing, up times, down times, and everything in between, let's make sure that we always live our life according to what we find in God's word. We're going to be so much better off for it. I appreciate you guys following along today, and I hope to be able to see you again at some point in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.